All right. Um, Gene has a question for us, and he says, uh, I am in the head exploding process of starting to get some smart devices for my house. I wondered if you might be able to give some advice as to where or what to start with, perhaps an older episode or something else. So I, I throw this out to us because uh, I know we all, I mean, we've talked about it in this episode haphazardly, right? you know, where is a good place for one to begin with smart home? Adam, you want to, you want to start with this? I would say get one of those little simple plug-in things for like one lamp or one device, you know, and mess around with that. Like, Yep. That's a really simple place to start and get familiar with how HomeKit works and stuff like that. And it doesn't cost a lot. You know, I think you can get these things for like probably t- 20 bucks now, I would guess. I haven't gone out to look for them. Um, when I did my house, uh, I started with, or another one would just be a smart bulb uh, that has those features built in. I They're more expensive, but I really liked the LifeX bulbs. I used a lot yeah. of those i still have a yeah. bunch of them that i haven't even plugged back in um they have some great features but i know prices have come down on that too so get one simple device like i would start with a light either the little lamp plug-in switch where you plug in a thing or just a a bulb a simple smart bulb and yep play around with those you know and then it it will take off from there you'll want more, more and more and I, more things i feel like you need a killer app for yourself, like not just something that you're going to play with, but something that's, that's going to have a meaningful impact on your life. Because for me, I had all kinds of stuff, you know, people would send us things or I would buy things. I and mean, it was like, oh, yeah, look, I can turn on the Christmas tree with my thing. And it's like, OK, well, that's cool. It's, you know, three weeks of the year or something. It wasn't until I bought a set and this was, you know, 100 years ago. So it was. It was two hundred dollars to buy a set of four Philips Hue bulbs. Yep. Uh, now they're much less expensive than that. Any kind of smart bulbs, and I put them all outside, which you're not supposed to do with the Philips bulbs. I can tell you, this was a hundred years ago. The bulbs all still work. Again, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but just setting them up so that the lights in my, you know, on my front door and my driveway came on at sunset. And went off at midnight every night was a game changer. I like we didn't have to think, oh yeah, it's dark, you gotta go turn on the light. Or oh, before bed, you gotta turn off the light. Or even better, we've been out all day, it got dark, we come home and the freaking driveway is, you know, dark. And now it lights up like it does every night. And so that for me was the the <laughs> the light bulb moment, if you will. <laughs> Right where it was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. I get this now. I see. And and then it was like, all right, I want other things. I want to I- eliminate this friction in my life by doing this with other things. So, yes, there are still some things that I have that are just sort of cool and geeky. But I think it's important to find a thing. And, and your example of a light bulb, Adam, I think is a great one because – there are those lights that that we just sort of naturally turn on and turn off at at routine times. Save yep. yourself the routine. So yeah, I, you know, yeah, yeah. I I would agree with that too because when I I did my lights, that was the other nice thing is like, again, I'm getting older and inevitably, you know, you'd you'd head to bed and then you kind of think, yeah. oh, did I turn off all the lights or not? Yeah, and then you could just be like, S lady. Yeah. Go to bed. I, I think I had an automation that yeah. was like, go to bed. Yeah. And it just turned everything off in yeah. one statement. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So in our Discord chat, Grumpy Mike suggests the Maras outlets. He, he was stating that, uh, you know, that's a great way to start things to uh, control regular plug-in lights. So you don't even need a smart, smart bulb. Get sure. outlet and control that. I started with the Hue bulbs as well and absolutely love them. We have them in... I think four or five rooms in the house and uh, my son loves it. He, you know, the colors and the dim settings and one of the, actually one of the really nice things in, in the master bedroom, we have one and I can whisper into my watch at, if I have to get up at three thirty, three forty five in the morning, I'll whisper into my watch, turn on the master bedroom light to 10%. 
and it gives oh. me just enough light to get up and not stub my toe, but it's not so bright yeah. that it wakes my wife up. And <laughs> yep. huh. And yeah. And so, that's um, yeah, so I, that's, that's how I use the lights. The other two things that I've got that I have really liked over the years, uh, we have a townhome in Pensacola. I have one of the Nest thermostats. Mm-hmm. And boy, is that great. I can set the the temperature in that townhome and I leave it in a wide range so it isn't trying to keep it super cool in the summer or super warm in the winter. But if I know someone's coming ahead of time, I can turn it up. So when they get there, it's a comfortable temperature. Uh, when people leave and we have somebody come in to clean it before anyone else comes in, I can set the temperature down so that the lady that cleans the place isn't doing it in 90 degree heat. <laughs> yeah. And the, and then, but when she leaves, I don't have to say, don't forget to turn the thermostat down. I can reset it to our away mode and go from there. And the other thing that we have is a Schlage deadbolt. Yep. And I can, you can put in codes. So I have family members, they have their own codes to that door lock. They can put their codes in to let them in, let them out. And I can control, add codes, remove codes remotely. And that that's also a, a really nice feature. Um, and because it, here was the other cool thing. we got a real hardware store right down the street from there. I was able to take the key from the doorknob, which was also a slage doorknob and say, make it work in the deadbolt before I installed oh. it. So I've got one key that works all the externals on, on that town home. Yeah. All right. So folks clearly like th- this is, this is the beginning of this conversation. Cause I, yeah. I think finding the entry point and it's going to be different for each of us, but sure. finding that entry point is, is going to be the key. If you're not already on smart home. And even if you are like, you know, if you were on lights like me and then heard Pete talking about the smart locks, it's like, Oh, wait a minute. That's actually kind of cool. So I would love for each of you to write in feedback at Mac and tell us what was your entry point to this. And we will, obviously share that in future episodes.